Hello everyone, Etta here. Welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a quick video. This is actually going to be a video that I'm going to do over time. Uh, I'm going to do this first part now and then I will mesh it together with a later video where I have um, some results to share with you. But this video is six months ago I did a video on how to extend the life of your fragrance flower. I had said that I really like the flower and I didn't want to just throw them away when um, the oil ran out and it was finished. I, I figured the flowers are too pretty to just throw away right afterwards. So I had talked about how I had gone to Pier 1 and gotten some um, reed diffuser oil to use as um, oil to keep using the flowers. So I wanted to show you the two that um, I like to use. I haven't used them recently but um, I had originally gotten Asian Spice and Cuban Vanilla. Those are my absolutely two favorite scents that they had. Um, and I actually have them also, let's see. I have them in oils too. And that's how I picked those to use for the diffuser because I actually have Asian Spice and Cuban vanilla in diffuser oil. So love these scents. These are the kind of scents that I wish Scentsy would bring out in their oils for us because I find them to be the just the what I consider bedroom romantic kind of scents. Um, let me see if I can smell this Asian spice. I don't even know if you could still get them. It's just, it has kind of that bedroom romantic perfume kind of scent to it the asian spice does and the cuban vanilla it's been a while since i used them oh, definitely it just makes the room smell have that that romantic kind of smell that kind of perfume kind of scent it's just it's beautiful i know my husband liked it too and i'm gonna have to get back to using them because i haven't used them in a while but when I picked up, so when I picked up the reed diffuser oil, I picked them up in those two. And the Asian Spice does have a tendency to um, color the petals. So I had used it on the original flower that I had originally done. And the first time I used the flower, I um, didn't do any coloring to the petals or anything. I just used it. And if I remember correctly, I had sea salt and avocado was the first oil that I used and um, when it finished I kind of held off and I left the flower just sitting on the side for two weeks and I felt like it was dry enough and then I went back and I colored the edges and I used the Asian Spice diffuser oil and it absolutely had an effect on the petals it put a lot of red into them the flower itself still smells it smells really good Mm. Um, I went looking through my pictures and I had a picture of it back in October, um, basically like this, already kind of dry. I think I had used it maybe in August was the last time I had used the refills and I just kind of left it on the side for a while because I've been using the mini fan diffusers and just wax and oil and so I hadn't used the flower in a while. So it's just been sitting on the side all dried. So it's definitely been dried at least since October and I'm filming this February 6th I think it's February 6th today and the other one I had um, I had colored and I loved the way the color came out it's such a pretty color I love it this one was from the summer this one was hibiscus water I don't know what was the deal with this one it still if you look it still has the tiniest bit of liquid in there and i pulled up the picture from when i colored because i took a picture of it after i colored it to see what it looked like at first and that picture's like june 7th again it's february 6th today what is that eight months I mean they don't last that long but there's something with this one that it's just 
and if I touch it I'll get oil the oil all over my fingers but it will still it's still kind of drippy I don't know if you can see that it's still pretty drippy and so I haven't wanted to do anything with that one I still have see it's it's still pretty wet so my thought was one flower yes it does not it will not scent a room right like especially not a bigger room I've actually used this one was actually in my toilet room in my bathroom but this one I had in the little half bath before and the little half bath because I keep the door closed it did fine with fragrancing that room um, and I'd have it at my desk it wouldn't like make the whole room smell but while I was sitting at my desk I could smell it, it smelled really good so I thought what if I do more than one flower like one flower can only do so much but what if I had multiple flowers with my oil um, I thought I could give that a try so obviously the one it really will only fill I mean fit one flower on these right I think it would be too cumbersome to try to put more than one so I went to Dollar Tree and I went and purchased a little glass container and it obviously the little thing won't reach all the way to the bottom um, so I'm not sure if I want to use that one but I have this other one and that one pretty much does reach to the bottom so I may do this one and my thought was put three I'll use that one that had already dried this one that is still wet from months and months and months ago and then I pulled out another flower I, I think I have like three that we have gotten through um, uh, with boxes and maybe a different one from another way because I think I had three all together of Amazon rain so I thought okay well uh, I'm willing to test this out with one of my bottles of Amazon rain if not I can turn around and maybe use the Cuban vanilla I'd use the Cuban vanilla over the Asian spice just for the reason of I don't want to color the petals. I don't want the, the third flower that I would use to get any coloring from the Asian spice. So I thought um, I would use another flower and this one I won't put any coloring on. I got to take the little, the little paper off of here. I'm going to take a little paper off of the stem get that off all right so I've got the I'll transfer the oil from here into this one but as a decorative piece just just for giggles um, I went ahead from Dollar Tree and also bought the little glass stones little glass rocks and I figured I'd put a few in here then the oil and then the three flowers and see how that works so I'm going to try let's see I should have brought scissors with me let's see if I can get this open yeah I can <coughs> excuse me I don't want to make too much noise I don't want it to be banging in your ear while I'm doing the um and I don't want to get oil all over my furniture so let me see if I can get some of these little glass beads into the container Just for decoration purposes and it might help with the stem not reaching all the way to the bottom but if I put some like that and then put let's see try three flowers I might actually put it in the bigger one after all because it doesn't quite reach as good and it might fit better on the other one I think I might try that let me <coughs> excuse me let me pause this video real quick and I'll be right back after I've put it in the bigger jar okay well that took me a couple of minutes because I had to finagle 
with the one that still has oil soaked into the petals because that one's heavier than the other ones. The other ones are super light because they're dry. Um, but I got it all into the container and I will say that the one that uh, was still wet has, uh, it was touching the, the fresh one when I was kind of just playing with it before and it already uh, transferred a little color onto it I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Oh goodness, right there on the edge of that petal. But I thought, okay, here, you know, kind of like you would do a flower arrangement. I've put the some of the glass beads in there and I put the entire jar of the um, Amazon Rain in here. And I'm thinking at some point I'm probably going to grab a straw or a stir stick or something like that and kind of work it in there so that I can get the, um, the little roots basically further into the um, oil. Work it in there, kind of work it into under the rocks and stuff so that it'll kind of use it to hold it down so that they don't want to flop over. But I thought that that would make a nice kind of like arrangement that you would do for with flowers. And then I could put this um, maybe, I think I'm thinking about um, on like a candle stand and put it maybe on the table, the little cocktail table in front of my sofa where in the TV room and see how it does. See if I can uh, smell it more. Uh, Amazon Rain might be a little bit on the softer side, but... Um, I haven't tried it in the fragrance flower yet. So it's just an experiment to see how it does. And um, like I said, this will be kind of a two part video because I will come back and let you know, uh, one, if the super old flower that's been dried for months, how it did, whether it soaked up the, the fresh oil, whether the one that's still wet, if it continues to soak up the new stuff and the fresh one and see how it does and see how it does at um, fragrancing a slightly bigger area and see if it works or not or if I have to move it to a smaller spot. So anyways, I just wanted to let you know this is my experiment and I will be back to let you know how it did. Hi, I'm back. I have a quick update on the flower project that I've been working on. Um, when I started the video, it was Saturday, February 6th, and now it's Tuesday, February 9th. Um, it is approximately 7.30 p.m. And um, this morning at about 7 a.m., might have been 6.30 in the morning, I took the flower um, arrangement that I started, the project, and I brought it into this room, which I said I keep the two doors closed because um, I wanted to see how it would do in here. I don't find that it is uh, filling the room with scent, but it's been sitting on the cocktail table in the TV room, and I would say I've when I had it in there, I could smell it really, really good while I was sitting on the sofa to watch TV. I kept smelling it. Basically, like if you had a nice floral arrangement sitting on the table in front of you while you're watching TV and you could smell the flowers, that, that's basically how it was. I did want to update also that I did change the vessel in which I had put the flowers and the oil in. Um, after like 15 minutes of the in the other one, I realized uh, the the little the string was just too far away from the oil. It was touching it, but I knew that as soon as it started to soak up, it wouldn't be touching it anymore. So I moved it to the smaller one, and you can see it's it is in there. Um, when I when I filled it, when I put the oil in, the oil was about here. And that was Saturday, and like I said, it's Tuesday, and now the oil is here. So obviously, since it's, you know, putting the oil into three flowers, it's not going to last um, the 60 days or so. Um, but they are all quite well soaked. I'm going to have to kind of push the, um, the stuff in, because this one's in there, and this one is in there. But I'm going to have to push this one because it's barely in there now. So I'm going to push it in so that it's 
in the oil a little better but i'm gonna see how long it lasts like i said saturday after i did it and all you know sunday when i was sitting on the sofa to watch tv yesterday when i was sitting on the sofa to watch tv in the evening i could smell it really well um I can smell it here but it's not um, it's not filling this room this room is about 10 by 10 um, it's I can smell it when I get closer to it but it's not like you know when you put wax in the room and the whole room is scented or whatever but it does have a stronger scent than having one flower so I think my next thing is going to use I'm gonna try to use one of those round uh, bowl kind of dishes that are like really small and I'll put the stones in there put the oil and that way I could probably put wow if it's a big enough dish I could probably put maybe six flowers in there as I start to use them and I have flowers left over I will um, try to do that but and I will when that oil gets completely soaked in I'm gonna turn around and use my um, Cuban vanilla from Pier 1 and continue to do it that way but I thought it was a, a nice way to keep using the flowers and you know if you start to collect them you know be able to do several you know and have them all together and that way you get a little bit of a stronger scent and like I said in my um, half bath downstairs I originally I originally did one in you know in the little bottle that it comes in with and that one since I keep the door closed to that bathroom never had a problem smelling it in the half bath that's downstairs um, so I, I didn't test with this one because I know it's going to if it did it with a single I think that you could probably you know in a as long as you don't have like a huge bathroom if you have like a regular mid-size kind of bathroom I think if you did something like this I think it would work well I think you could put it like I did on a cocktail table um, in front of the sofa I think if you used it as um, on your dining room table or something like that or the kitchenette table or something I think it would work really well I just thought it was another way to keep using the flowers and again this flower had been dry since at least October and it has completely soaked up you can tell especially by the fact that the coloring on the petals is different than when it was all dry and some of the coloring has bled on to this one you probably can't really see it there we go like there and then where it was touching the pink one and now I have oil all over my fingers but um if you put it next to one that has coloring on it it will and it touches it will bleed on it so just kind of keep that in mind if you don't want to get any on it so anyways i just wanted to pass that along i just wanted to kind of update do another project with my flowers to kind of try to keep using them and to show you that even though that flower had been dry for wow what you know three and a half four months at least um it had no problems soaking up oil again and working again so anyways i hope you enjoyed that if you give it a th thumbs up i'd appreciate it and um i'll try in another video later on to let you know how long that um oil actually lasted having the three flowers but i didn't want to wait that long to do the video because i'm not sure how long it's going to take so i'll try to Keep you updated on that later on and um, until next time enjoy your sense enjoy your day and enjoy your journey talk to you later bye